Cool. Nice to meet you. So we've got Indiana. We've got Idaho on here. We've got Iowa. Most of the I states. Sweet. Sweet. Right. <laughs> All right. So it is straight up seven o'clock here. So say, so let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully there's some other people that roll into you. I guess it's a little bit less disruptive when people come into a virtual class late, right? <laughs> like an in-person class. <laughs> So thank you guys for having your cameras on too. It does make it fun that we can see each other and interact a little bit more. So class tonight, it's gonna be strictly about um, building heat and moving a lot of movement. So I think that um, that's what a lot of us need right now. Might be making an assumption, but I think that that'll hopefully do us all good. So if anybody is needing some good quarantine reading, I happily recommend um, Light on Life by BKS Iyengar. So we read through this in my yoga training and it was pretty awesome. So I pick it up every once in a while and go back through. So for tonight's class, um, just a little, a little line out of here, nothing long. It says the head is the seat of intelligence and the heart is the seat of our emotion. So both have to work in cooperation with the body. So we've got a lot of emotion going on right now. We've got a lot of unknowns. Um, existing all around us, right? A lot of questions and what ifs. So tonight trying to rein some of those and not let them fly off wild, we're gonna make the head work for us in our practice. So we all know as we move through some of our postures and we're holding there, sometimes though the brain starts to say, this sucks, let's move on. So we're gonna try to tackle that too. So finding that nice cooperation, that nice kind of equilibrium where we are. So I'll offer different um, modifications as we move through, depending on where everybody is in your practice. And like always, everything I have, strictly, strictly a suggestion, it's your practice. So take it where you will. So if you guys have trouble hearing me at any time too, just let me know. And I'll talk a little bit louder, or move a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and start a nice Tadak Nasana. So the soles of the feet touching, Putting it a little out, finding your sits bones underneath. So I had the pleasure of taking a class, virtual class, um, from one of my teachers back in Indianapolis. He called it Ben and Jerry, which I thought was really funny. So tuck Ben and Jerry under there. Make sure you've got a nice cushion. And we're going to sit up super nice and tall. So stacking the spine one vertebrae on top of the other. And just start noticing the breath. That helps to place a hand over the heart just to feel that chest rise. Feel that heart beat below. Be thankful for it. We'll start to notice where we are. We're all in the comfort of our own home right now, so we're in the comfort of our own space. If you'd like to let your eyes drift close or maybe just stop in the gaze, go ahead and take that option. Begin to mindfully deepen the inhale too. So feeling that belly inflate out like a balloon. Big breath in through the nose. And let's let it go out the mouth. <sighs> Do that a few more times. <sighs> Until you feel like you're ready just to begin that through the nose, out of the nose breath. Finding your intention for your practice this evening. Maybe even mustering up a little love to send out to those around us. And on the next inhale, let's flip the palms face down, holding on right above the ankles. So we'll start with some cat cows here, 
you're getting a lot of pulling on the inner thighs, you're welcome to come into more comfortable seated position or stay in that Baddha Konasana. That's your choice. So as we inhale, we drive the heart forward, nice curve in the back. As we exhale, we pull the belly in and up, rounding the spine back. Nice deep inhales, full exhales. Now as you start to move and start to wake up the spine, if you want to increase the speed of this breath, by all means, go for it. Switching to a nice ujjayi even if you like, beginning to build heat from the inside out. Next inhale, let's hold with that heart shining forward. It's like a great big Care Bear stare. Breathing here, trying to open through the shoulders, stretching the collarbones. We've been working from home and really sitting at a desk. Roll those shoulders back. Don't let them come forward. Open the chest wide. And then nice deep exhale, round that spine back. Maybe wiggle a little bit, feeling some nice stretches around the shoulder blades. Very good. Let's find our way back up to seated. Nice, long, straight spine. Finding a comfortable crisscross applesauce, as my daughter says. We'll start with a little side-to-side -side movement. So inhale, open over to the left. And as we exhale, we're going to round back and inhale over to the right. So kind of a nice circular movement, finding your own breath here. The goal is as we go to each side, we've got the opposite sits bones really driven into the ground. And we're feeling that opening right between the rib cage. Again, follow the pace that works with your breath. And we're gonna hold whichever side we're on, maybe even pushing the hand onto the thigh just to give a little bit more of a stretch, hopefully right through the deep muscles and the glutes. And then round it on over to the other side. Same thing, press it down. And coming back to center, however you choose, finding your way into tabletop. So wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Taking a peek back between the knees, if you see the feet, make them disappear. We'll do a few cat cows here. So as we inhale, belly drops, tailbone lifts, and exhale. Following your own breath. One more. Ending in a cow pose. So spine nice and curved. We're going to walk the hands out about a foot or so. So we're stretching the arms out nice and long. And with an inhale, you're gonna start just to gently lower down. So maybe finding a little puppy pose. And listening to your shoulders here. However far the heart comes towards the ground, just be okay with it. Doesn't have to reach all the way. Hips shooting up towards the sky, awesome. And we're breathing into the shoulder blades and the armpits. Crazy as that sounds. One more big inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to bring the palms back up, rebuilding our table. And then step the feet back into plank. So we have the full plank option, or you're welcome to 
bring yourself down to your knees for modified plank, but the belly's nice and tight, nice and secure. We're just going to breathe for a few moments, recognizing if we have any extra challenge if we're on carpet right now, that's going to help us engage a few more muscles. Another nice inhale, exhale, knees come down, chin and chest lower in a pranam flow, elbows by the body. Inhale, finding our low cobra. Exhale, hips back to the heels, downward dog. Go ahead and walk your feet. Walk your dog out. Maybe swivel the hips a little bit. And yeah, find your movement. So none of these poses, in this class especially, are going to be static poses. They're dynamic. You're going to move what feels good for you. We need this movement. So acknowledge that. Take it wherever you'd like. Very good. Next inhale. Let's bring our gaze up to the front of the mat. Coming up onto those tippy toes as high as we can. Nice stretch here. Maybe flexing it around a little bit. Rolling the ankles. We're going to tiptoe all the way up into our forward fold, gently setting the heels back down and finding a nice fold. Big inhale, half back. Nice spinal extension. Exhale, fold. Rounding up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to meet in an upward salute. Arms raised over the head, maybe a little back bend if you like. Take the hands into Anjali Mudra. Exhale, heart center. Very good, big inhale up, exhale, fold it down, half back, exhale down, plant the palms, step left followed by right back into plank. Okay, so again, full plank here, you're welcome to hold this, or half plank, I'm sorry, if you're in full plank, we're going to step the right foot out, exhale back in, left foot out, exhale back in. Do five on each side. Two, there's three, three, two, four, two, last one, five, two. Very good. Okay, uh, pranam flow again. Exhale, knees, chest and chin lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, hips back. Downward dog. Walk the feet out a little bit. So as I'm cueing, it's a little bit different not being in class. So if I'm counting, but you're on a different one, totally fine. <laughs> Just trying to keep us all, all slightly together on this. Okay, gaze comes forward. This time you're welcome to tiptoe all the way up in the forward fold or maybe step, hop, whatever you like. If you got a float, very good. Shake the hips out a little bit. Coming into half back. <laughs> good shake, Em. <laughs> Exhale, forward fold. Let's go to swan dive up this time. Slight bend in the knees. Exhale, heart center. Big, full inhale up, little back bend. Exhale, swan dive down. Plant the palms, step back to plank. Okay, so this time holding in that full plank or that modified plank, we're gonna do some shoulder taps instead of stepping the feet out. So we'll do one, two, down. One, two, down. Do this five times. You're welcome to spread the feet a little bit wider than hip width if that helps to keep you more stable. Belly's nice and tight. This is round five. And plank. Perfect. Pranam flow or full chaturanga if you like. So lowering halfway, elbows in by the body. Inhale up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Walk those feet a little bit. Inhaling right leg up into the sky, three-legged dog. Go ahead and open the hips up if you like. We'll stack them, drop that heel back behind you. You can roll the ankle. Square the hips up. Yes, okay, so then we're gonna start moving. So as we exhale, we're gonna bring that knee over to the left elbow. Inhale back up. Right into center, try to kiss the knee. Inhale up. And right elbow. And up. Open the hips. And release the foot down. Very good. Left leg inhales up. Open the hips. Drop the heel back. Gonna play, roll the ankle. Come back to three-legged dog. Exhale as we bring it through to the right elbow. And back up. Exhale, center, kiss the knee. You can blow it a kiss, that's fine too. And then the left elbow. Very good, inhale up. Plant the foot. Gaze comes to the front of the mat, step or hop. Meet in forward fold. Inhaling half back. Exhale, forward fold. Switching it up this time as we inhale, find the chair. Very good. So tailbone points right to the ground. Nice flat spine. Arms can reach forward or come to the heart. Your choice. Breathing here. Breaths. Hand comes to the heart. As we exhale, dive it forward. Forward fold. Swan dive up on your inhale. A little back bend. Hands come to the heart on the exhale. And a big swooping inhale. This time, let's take the right wrist and the left hand. As we exhale, we're gonna find a nice lateral bend. So we're rotating the chest up towards the sky. Breathing here. Inhaling back up. And exhale, left hand over. Very good. Checking in with your feet. Making sure your weight is distributed equally and we're not letting that right foot fly. We'll get there but we're standing nice and firm. Inhale back up, exhale, fold it down. Plant the palms and find your plank. Hop or step back. Very good, this time we're gonna lower all the way down. All the way down to the mat. Hands stay right underneath the shoulders. Elbows in by the body. Love it, we all look like the guy from um, uh, old Tool Time. Looking over the fence. <laughs> Big inhale, pressing into those palms. Little push up into a low cobra. And exhale, lower. Inhale, round the spine up. We'll do five of these, your own breath. Exhale, down. So we're not moving too, too high quite yet. Remembering the legs as well. Keep them nice engaged. Glutes nice and firm. Maybe we're even pulling those palms back towards us. Last one. Know that we're at five when we're all holding in our low cobra. Awesome. Okay. Exhale one vertebrae at a time coming down. Let's place the right cheek on the mat. Just a quick moment, shake the hips. Okay. This time leaving the hands right where they are. 
as we inhale, we're gonna bring it up a little bit higher. So full cobra and exhale lower. So getting the arms a little bit straighter, legs engaged. Here's three. Four. And we're going to hold at five. Awesome. All right. Exhale, lower down. Left cheek comes to the mat. Shake the hips. Okay. Place the forehead on the mat. You're welcome to either take the hips back to the heels, finding your way into downward facing dog or press up into a chaturanga from the floor. So curl those toes under, press all the way up. And now it's so mean, we're gonna go right back, halfway down, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Very good. Perfect, let's bring the right leg up into the sky again. Open the hips. So stack the hips one on top of the other. Perfect, drop that heel back if you like. Next time through, we'll flip our dogs. So it's coming, I promise. Very good, as we exhale, let's square the hips back up. And we're gonna bring that right foot all the way through, right in between the palms. Finding a nice high lunge here, or low lunge rather. Okay, so you're welcome to set the knee down if you like. As a matter of fact, let's do that. Everybody set the back knee down. As we take a big inhale, arms come up nice and strong, hugging everything in towards the midline so that that right leg's not flopping out. Big breath, inhale, extend. As we exhale, we're gonna take a little back, back bend. Inhale forward, exhale all the way forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend, center, hugging the belly in as we come forward. One more, exhale back, inhale, exhale, inhale back up to center. Try to straighten that front leg, maybe even come up onto the heel. And we're gonna bring the hands down just to walk it back a little bit. So you're welcome to curl those back toes if you want to try to take a seat on the foot. Give a nice stretch through that left foot. But we're mainly focused on stretching the top of the leg right now. So you can play in it a little bit. Just find where you find that like, oh yeah, that's a good spot. So wherever that is for you. Two more breaths. And then finding that low lunge again. So front foot is flat onto the mat. Inhale, arms up nice and tall, curl the back toes, and whew, high lunge. Very good. Nice big breath here. This time we're gonna take a little bit of movement. So we inhale, lengthen. This time we're gonna exhale, lower the knee down. Hover it right above the mat as we inhale back up. Exhale. Inhale up. One more. Well, one more after that one, I guess. And exhale down. Holding. Hover and hold that knee. Embrace your shake if you got it. Try to keep that knee hovering right above the mat. We're gonna take a twist. So really getting the most out of this quad. Quad engagement. You're welcome to use a block if you have one at home or maybe even make a fist. Just to place that left hand down, right hand reaches to the sky. One more breath. Exhale, right hand comes down, let's straighten that back leg. Give it some relief. And take a big step forward with the left. Shake the legs. Very good. Inhaling half back, forward fold. 
flying up in an awesome Tadasana. Upward salute. Reaching taller than you have. And exhale, finding your heart center. Good. Big inhale, arms come on up. Exhale, fold it down. Plant the palms. Find plank. It's a little variation here. Instead of doing our up dogs or step outs, we're going to place the left palm in the center of the mat. Nice little side plank. Breathe here. You're welcome to put that bottom knee down. If you'd like, or keep both legs nice and long. As we inhale with the right hand, we're going to grab something up there. And as we exhale, shoot it underneath us. Inhale up. Maybe it's one of those streamers or parachutes. Bring it down. We've got three more. Inhale up. Very good. Exhale, replace the left hand with the right. Making your side plank transition to the other side. And driving the hips up towards the sky as we take hold of something and exhale, bring it down underneath us. Last one. Inhale, finding your side plank. And then we'll rotate down on the exhale, coming back into plank, choosing a flow, or just meeting in downward dog. Options, options. Very good. Sorry, you see me sitting here. I'm not used to teaching on my mat. <laughs> this is quite a unique experience. Let's go ahead and inhale, right leg back up into the sky. Oh, no, not right leg, I'm sorry, left leg. Getting excited for our flip dog. <laughs> left leg up, open the hips, drop the heel back. And on the exhale, we'll square the hips, bring the left leg all the way through, pausing, and this runner's lunge for just a moment. And then we'll set the back knee down. Shoelaces down on the mat as we inhale up. Remember, big breath in here as we exhale. We're gonna find a little back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, hug the belly in. Come forward. Inhale up. Exhale back. Center. Forward. Last round through, center, back bend, center, reaching forward. Very good. As we inhale back up, so we're gonna to start to straighten that front leg. So again, maybe coming onto the heel, drawing the heel back towards you, just to get a little bit more stretch. And then find that the optimal, optimal little stretch here. So maybe we're sliding the foot back, trying to bring the hips back in line with each other. Maybe we're dropping the seat all the way down to the heel. And walk the hands forward, whatever works for you. Might even draw the chest down over that front leg. Options, options. Just breathing. And as we inhale, we're gonna walk it forward. Plant the foot onto the mat. Inhale, upward salute with the arms. Shoulders away from the ears. Curl the back toes. I lunge. Awesome. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find that nice side twist on this side. Right hand comes down. Opening up the left hand. 
Breathing. Exhale, top hand comes down. Frames the front foot. This time as we take that big step forward, we're gonna find a forward fold. Shake the legs a little bit. And then inhale, chair pose. A little bit shorter chair than the last time. Breathing. Maybe rocking forward, lifting the heels. Good. And then exhale, rock back on the heels, lift the toes. And set the toes down. One more breath in. Exhale, fold it down. Half back. And fold. Plant the palms, hop or step, find plank. And great, we're gonna take some little planky push-ups this time. So elbows in by the body. As we exhale, one straight line, unless we've got our knees down. Still straight line. We'll shoot for five. Let's for sure get three in. Exhale as we lower, inhale up. Very good. So after your three or five or 14, if you're D, because he's always a rock star, <laughs> we'll take your flow and then we'll meet in downward dog. So your choice. Or to shoot those hips back, whatever works. <coughs> All right, so this time through, we're gonna do a flip dog wild thing flow. So let's go ahead and inhale, right leg up into the sky. Try to talk us through it as best as I can. Right leg up, stack the hips, drop the heel back. You're welcome to stay right here. Wait even on the palms or flip your dog. So right foot falls back behind you as you lift your hips up towards the sky. That top arm can be nice and engaged, or maybe you're releasing your neck and your arm. Awesome. Breathe here. One more inhale. As we exhale, the top arm is going to come down into the center of the mat. That foot is going to come around and shoot right up. Uh, underneath and up. So let me turn around and face the screen here. You can put that top or the bottom foot down or lift it. Even for a second, it counts. Awesome. Good, good, good. Okay, one more breath. Awesome wild thing here. Top hand comes down. Returning the three-legged dog. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times on this side. So, right leg up, exhale as we drop the foot back. Flip dog, inhale, lift. Exhale, top arm comes down. Three-legged, inhale, wild. Exhale, hand down. Three-legged dog, stack the hips, flip dog, exhale, top hand comes down, pausing in three-legged, and wilding. Nice. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Sending energy to that bottom arm. It can do this. Very good, whenever you're ready. Yep, going back to three-legged dog. Shake those hips out. Very good. So after you get a nice stretch, drop down to the knees, find a little child's pose. Little breather pose here, grab some water. Okay, 
when you are ready. It's the question of the night, the tricky one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way back into plank. Remembering modified or full. Okay, so if anybody has ever taken a pop Pilates class, which I wish Lynette was on right now, she's an awesome Iowan I've met. So one of her deals. So let's bend that right knee in our plank. As we exhale, we're gonna pulse it up to the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing 10. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, 10. Stretch the leg back out. Rebuild your plank. Then the left knee. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. Phew. Stretch the leg, set it down. For those champs among us, take a chaturanga, meet downward dog, or just shift the hips on back. So you guys just had an earthquake in Idaho yesterday, right? Yeah. That's what I feel like my arms are right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel it, but I know a lot of people did. Oh, wow. <laughs> straight up to the sky. Again. Okay, so we're going to take some warrior three flows here. So shifting the weight forward into that front foot. As we inhale, we're going to start to shift the upper body and then take flight. So you're welcome to keep that back foot on the ground or maybe we find a warrior three. And then we set it back down. Easier said than done. Inhale, extend. Exhale, warrior three. And back down. One more, just three of these guys, because we're gonna add to it. And exhale down. Awesome, okay. Next little move here. As we inhale, we're gonna find warrior three. And then we're gonna hover that foot around, hug it in nice and tight to the front, and then shoot the leg out. Whew. Bend, warrior three, set it down. Two more, three, bring the leg up, hug, stretch it out, hug, stretch it back. <laughs> Maybe hitting warrior three on the way back. Good, one more. High lunge, warrior three. Hug it in, stretch it out. Bend, warrior three, set it down. <laughs> practicing on carpet is hard, guys. You know. <laughs> Very good, high lunge. Big breath here. How are our legs? Can we do a little bit more? 
Okay. As we exhale, let's take the hands right down. Very good. Wiggle that back toe back. So we're finding a little setup here for a lizard pose. So slide the back toes like that. Right hand comes to the instep of the right foot. So you can walk that foot out to the side. Perfect. Here you go. Chill here. Or maybe we drop to one elbow or both. Keeping the right leg hugged into the side for right now. I'll cue us in just a few breaths to take it out onto the knife edge. Breathe here. This is a love hate. I know. Exhale, if you want to open that hip out to the side, just come off onto the knife edge of the right foot. So what's our left leg doing right now? You can keep it fully engaged or you can set the knee down. That's your choice. As long as we're breathing. One more inhale. As we exhale, bring the foot back flat to the floor. Palms underneath shoulders. As we stretch nice and tall, curl the back toes under if that foot's not still extended. Very good. Step the foot back, maybe shake it a little bit. Finding plank. And find a flow or meet in downward dog. Hey, left leg in, heels up this time. Nice big stretch. Exhale, bring it back through. High lunge when you're ready. Inhale up. Okay, big breath as we lengthen here, putting energy out of the back heel. Nice straight spine. Exhale, warrior three. Very good. Bring it back. High lunge. Warrior three. Bring it back. One more. Warrior three. Oops. Bring it back. Okay, adding this time as we inhale, warrior three, bring the foot through, hug it in, stretch it out, hug, warrior three, and down. Got it, okay, we know where we're going. Inhale, warrior three, hug it in, stretch, Bend, three, and then spirit fingers this time because we landed it. Yes, we got one more. <laughs> three, hug that foot in, stretch, three, back, last one, down we go. Ta-da! Okay. Hands come down, frame that front foot, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Left foot comes out to the side, so right leg can stay active or you can set the knee down, your choice. And find your lizard on this side. Remembering, this side might be really different than the first one. So we might not be able to drop it down, or maybe we can. Just breathe into it and see what it's telling you. Exhale, take the leg, knee out to the side if you'd like to open the hips or keep it square, your choice. And then exhale, bring it back to center, slow and steady. 
Very good. Finding your plank pose. Nothing special here. Just going back into a downward dog. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you to come forward into plank. Set your knees down. We're going to talk through a real quick arm balance challenge here. Um, if you've got a crow or if you've got some other play inversion that you'd like to do, feel free. If you just want to hang out in child's pose, feel free in that too. So we've done some good hip openers and a few really, really good setups too for a lizard pose or for just an extended split, like flying split pose. So I'll show you the flying split real quick. It's different doing that <laughs> through the computer rather than in person. So if you remember at the start of class, we brought the knee in and we hooked towards the opposite elbow and then back center. And then we came out to right elbow. So for a little flying split here, we can make a shelf with this left arm by bending it underneath the body. So it's gonna come in at a little bit of an angle to support the rib cage, okay? And then the right arm is gonna come out to the side. So our leg's gonna hang out right on the bicep. So if we're from our down dog and we bring it forward, we might just hang out here, okay? Or we might just hold for a few breaths right here, okay? You can always set the foot down too. If we wanna take the full low, bring that foot up nice and tall. As we exhale, we come forward and we set the knee on the bicep. So we can keep the back foot down or we can start to lift it and then straighten the right leg. So cool part about this arm balance is your face is the perfect prop. <laughs> so we're really close to the ground so you don't have very far to go, which is better than in crow in my opinion. <laughs> so again, if we come up, as we exhale, we come forward, dropping the hip onto the left arm. And then we just find that center point of balance. Yeah. Fun to play with. Twisting it up a little bit. Awesome. Nice, Stephanie. Very good. All right, so when we're done with that side, let's roll the wrists out a little bit. We give them a nice break. <laughs> Hi, Dashy. <laughs> okay, finding your way back into your downward dock. We'll try this on the other side. So take your time to get there. If you want to go through full flow, go for it. That will be our last flow of the night. And then the left leg inhales on up. And you might just take those cross leg taps. So with the left leg up, you start across the body on the right. Up, center, and then left, el right elbow comes underneath the body. Left elbow makes a shelf. And then you come down. Maybe you put the face on the floor, maybe not. <laughs> good, good, good. Good, Erin, that's the right idea. Yep, there you go. Nice, very nice. <laughs> the plant on the floor is the best part afterwards. Okay. So whenever you are done with that, we're gonna meet standing. So stand up slow. Prepping for yogi squat. So, <clears throat> excuse me, toes turn out to about a 45. Maybe heels on the mat, toes off the mat. Big inhale, arms come on up. And then we exhale all the way down. And if I was a mean teacher, I'd say let's inhale back on up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even coming onto the toes. 
and exhale down, maybe staying on the toes if we can, and then set the heels down. We'll do two more. Inhale up, and exhale. Last one. Come on down. So this yogi squat is one of the best grounding poses that you can do right now. So I highly encourage it. If you've got five minutes for yoga a day, do a couple of your clothes, hang out in yogi squat for a while. It's good. <laughs> if you're still working in public and you do this in public, just encourage people to do it with you and they won't look at you strange. Take a few breaths. And as we exhale, we're gonna come on down to our bums. Stretch those legs out long. So we've got a few minutes left for a nice core workout. So this is another really cool one I learned in our Pop Pilates class called Earthquake. It'd be really awesome if we had some nice like heavy metal music going right now because it would help. We're gonna stretch those legs out nice and long. Yeah, roll the ankles a little if you need to still. Lifting up to find our, our nice cushion. And then flex the toes back at us. So as we start an earthquake, we're going to reach the arms forward. If you're a dancer, you can have the beautiful reaching forward arms like we're hugging a great big tree. Or just bam, shooting the arms forward. We're going to start to hinge back. So try to keep that spine as long as you can. Roll the shoulders open. Holding here. And this is earthquake. Holding and breathing, engaging the core. And then we'll lift the right arm. And we'll keep breathing. And then the left arm. A little earthquake pose now. Maybe shaking. I am. One more. And exhale, reach it back forwards. Now this one feels okay. Right arm up. Left arm up. Pull over quick. And this time we're going to exhale, roll it down. Okay. So options that we have right now. I'll say either we can take the hands right behind the base of the skull and just do some nice bicycle crunches here. So we're not using our neck as we sit up. We're using that core, opposite knee to elbow. There we go. Perfect little bike crunch. Or if you want to do full sprinters, which is a new favorite, we're going to stretch out nice and long. Make really strong fists, maybe even tucking the thumb in the fist like we do for our ego eradicator breath. As we exhale, we use that core to come up. We bring the foot all the way off the ground. And then we lower. Exhale up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, only going to 10. <laughs> nine, hold, nine and a half, holding, and down, and 10, and hold, hold, and down, stretching out nice and long. Shake the feet, shake the arms. Okay, bring those knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Woohoo, I got through the first part of abs. We're not done yet. <laughs> Hands come right behind the thighs. We're gonna start rocking back and forth on the spine. So just take a few little <laughs> nice rocks. And when you feel up for it, we're gonna hop in our boat. So full boat pose, both legs are at a 90 degree angle or 
bring the feet down. Maybe alternate. Which one comes up? And breathing. Hands are going to come up overhead. Like we're holding a, a beach ball, let's say. Channeling some beach weather. As the exhale, we're going to bring that ball over to the right. Bounce it up. Knees go to the other side as we bounce it to there. And it's just a crisscross. Bounce. Up, bounce, 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 bounce. One more each side. Bounce, bounce, hold it. And then shoot a basket with it. Stretch out and throw it up. Very good. One more. Bring it back. That was a limpy throw for me, I assure you. It's gonna inhale back and set it down as slow as you can. Arms overhead. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna take a little bridge pose here just to stretch out the core. So plant the feet flat onto the floor. Untuck that tailbone if you've got a big bend in the, in the back. Arms come around, palms flat on the mat, hugging the sides of the body. Big inhale as we press into the feet and the shoulder blades, hips come to the sky. Gaze stays right at the ceiling. Exhale, lower it all the way down. We're gonna do two more of these. The last one, you'll have an option to do a full wheel if you like. This next one, as you inhale, you can stay in that first bridge or maybe clasp the fingertips underneath us so you can roll more onto the tops of the shoulders. Lifting the hips a little bit higher. Pretending that we're hugging one of those yoga blocks right between our knees. A good adjustments. Okay, exhale, lowering it back down. And this very last bridge, you're welcome to take any variation, including a full wheel. If you like, placing the hands by the ears. And pushing all the way up. Very good. Gentle exhale as we start to lower it down as slowly as we can. Perfect, hug the knees back into the chest. We're gonna roll around a little bit, drawing some little circles on the ceiling. Very good, and start to tee the arms. So either bring them goal posts or stretch them out long and let the knees fall to either side, right or left. Gaze maybe looks over the opposite shoulder Starting to let go of our practice, feeling the muscles starting to relax a little bit. Always knowing in this stretch too, you can cross the ankles if that helps, get a little bit deeper stretch. You can stretch the bottom leg out long. Again, just whatever works for you, whatever's talking to you today. There's no right or wrong. And when you're ready, we'll slowly bring the knees back to center and then allow them to roll over to the other side. And breathing. One more big breath, slowly bring the knees back to center. 
and then I'll encourage you here to take any pose that you feel like you need to finish out your practice. So it can be a supine pigeon where we make that nice figure four. Maybe a happy baby. Maybe a plow pose. Shoulder stands, awesome. And as you start to settle in, go and take a few moments in Shavasana. So starting to stretch the legs out long, perfect. I see people already flipping their feet, just getting their last minute wiggles out. Very good. And as we start to relax, we'll start at the toes. If you'd like to maybe picture those waves on the beach like we talked about earlier, slapping at the toes, moving their way up the back of the calves. We release the kneecaps. Soften the belly. Cool waves come all the way up to the shoulders now. Rolling them away from the ears. And palms flip face upward. All the way up to the crown of the skull, allowing the tongue to fall away from the back of the teeth. Eyes beginning to soften. And finally relaxing into your own space. Beginning to deepen your breath. And inviting little movements back into the body. And find your space on your mat. When you're ready, let's take a huge inhale. Big stretch, first thing in the morning, arms overhead. Fingertips to toes. Exhaling through the mouth as we hug the knees into the chest. <sighs> Give yourself a big hug. And start rolling on that spine, back and forth, side to side, little circles. So options here, you can keep rolling backwards and forwards, finding yourself back up to seated, or if you'd like to pause on your favorite side for a moment. You are welcome to do so. No hurries, we'll meet back where we started. Nice seated position. Okay. All right, let's take a big inhale. Arms up overhead. We're gonna take a few little twists here. As we exhale, opening to the left. 
gaze looks over that left shoulder. Each inhale, we lengthen as we exhale, maybe just a little bit deeper twist. Gently coming back to center. Arms raised up overhead, opening to the right. And wrapping back around. One more big inhale up. Inhale There's one more after this. Exhale, forward fold. Allowing the spine to round this time. So we did a lot of back bending today. So rock it out side to side. Wiggle in your seats. And as we slowly start to make our way back up to seated, I'm gonna expand on that little quote that we talked about earlier. So the full, full paragraph of that statement is the sensitive awareness of the body and the intelligence of the brain and heart should be in harmony. The brain may instruct the body to do a posture, but the heart has to feel it too. The head is the seat of intelligence, the heart is the seat of the emotion, and both have to work in cooperation with the body. So what I read into that, especially today in this practice, is that we, we're feeling a lot of agitation and unknowns right now. And so as we get into postures like lizard, right? Lizard always triggers a little bit in us because it's that, that girdle, that pelvic girdle where we hold so much emotion anyways. It's breathing through that posture to allow the heart to catch up to where we are and be able to carry us through when the brain tells us we can't, right? So hopefully a little bit of that carried over to you all tonight. Um, if anyone is on mute and you would like to join in with an ohm, I would absolutely love it. Don't feel obligated, but I love to end our class with an ohm. So let's take a big inhale, arms up overhead. And exhaling right to heart center, pressing the thumbs firmly against the heart, feeling it beat, being thankful for it, being thankful for our health, our family, our friends and everything that we do have right now. This awesome community of yogis that are connecting both far and wide. This is awesome. Let's take a big inhale. Oh. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for sharing your practice, for allowing this little bit of engagement and interaction. Please continue to take care of yourself. Check in with your home practice. Check in with your mental health as well as those around you. Phone calls, being tired is also awesome right now. We should do it all the time, right? I hope you have yes. a wonderful, wonderful week. You guys are awesome. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you all. Erin, it was a pleasure to meet you. I hope to meet you in person sometime soon. <laughs> to all of the Idaho folks, love and miss you. Indiana folks, love and miss you. Everybody, be well. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Bye. Thank you, guys. Good night. <laughs> How do I explain? I did. Where did it go? I'm trying to, it's not moving. Yes. Like